yourself for my unbeatable Kung Fu Panda 3 review technique. Hi-ya! 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 Kung Fu Panda 3, the third and hopefully final installment in the Kung Fu Panda series. Not because it's bad or anything, but, you know, you rarely want to go past a trilogy. So if you remember the end of Kung Fu Panda 2, you know, they foreshadowed that there are other pandas out there, and this is pretty much where this movie picks up. Poe's dad shows up, and of course, he's voiced by Brian Cranston. Oh, must resist Breaking Bad reference. He finds Poe and takes him back to his village so he can learn about his heritage and find out where he came from, and cook some meth. Damn it! Meanwhile, the villain of the movie, Kai, shows up from the spirit world, and he has the ability to steal the chi of anyone he encounters and turn them into jade zombies that do his bidding. But it turns out that the pandas knew some chi techniques that could potentially defeat him, but unfortunately they've long since forgotten, and now he's coming after them, and it's up to Poe to teach them how to defend themselves so he can defeat him. This movie is much more comedy heavy than the other two movies, uh, particularly surrounding the panda village, uh, who were adorable. Um, also, Kai the villain had a lot of comedic moments. The villains from the other two movies were pretty serious for the most part, with the exception of maybe Shen, who did have a few funny moments, but for the most part he was all business. If you remember the trailer for this movie, when Kai shows up and he said, I am Kai, and then the people didn't know who he was, he was like, the Widowmaker, the Conqueror of whatever. I used to work with Uguay, and they're like, oh, yes! Yeah, it was kind of like that, but he was still a pretty threatening villain. But the comedy was used pretty sparingly. Um, it did have very good comedic timing. All the jokes pretty much hit their mark. Everything was very fast-paced. Also, the animation has improved drastically since the first movie, and there's some really great visuals in this one, especially the opening scene, which takes place in the spirit world where Kai and Uguay are fighting. There's a lot of development for Poe, too, because he had to step up and be a teacher because... Master Shifu stepped down and says, you're in charge now, but of course, he didn't really work out so well, but eventually he learned to become a great teacher. You know, this has been a really good movie series, because with a name like Kung Fu Panda, you didn't really expect much from it, but they did a really good job on it. It had great comedy, but at the same time, it took itself very seriously. Like, take Poe's character, for instance. He was very fanboyish, and they played off the fact that he's big and clumsy, but he stepped up when they needed him to, and he grew because of it. There was also a lot of sincerity in this series as well, like Poe's adopted dad who genuinely loved him, and then when his real dad showed up, there was a little bit of conflict, but then they ended up learning how to work together. It wasn't too much conflict, and he eventually had to give him advice. There was a scene where Poe actually yelled at his real dad, and then he got depressed because of it, so his adopted dad showed up and said, Hey, you having trouble? You upset that he yelled at you? Well, welcome to parenthood. And they ended up becoming friends because of it. I think my favorite part of this series, and a lot of people probably didn't notice this, there's no romantic subplots. Yeah, nobody had a love interest in this entire series. I mean, there was sort of, kind of one touched on in the third movie, but... They quickly swept that under the rug. There might have been one in the TV series, but honestly, I can't remember. The TV series was okay, by the way. And it's not that I don't like that kind of thing, it's just that sometimes, if it's not done correctly, it'll draw attention away from the main storyline. But that didn't happen in any of the movies. There was a story to be told, and they told it. And it was great. Overall, I think the second movie is still my favorite, but the third one was really good too, and I absolutely recommend it. This has become a very great movie trilogy, and like I said before, I kind of hope it stays a trilogy. But I'm not going to hold my breath. But that's all I got for Kung Fu Panda 3. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of it. And tell me who your favorite Kung Fu Panda character is. My name is Rob, and have a wonderful day. It doesn't matter what I say right now, because I'm just going to dub over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs>